guys, very, very, very warm welcome to the fantastic, fabulous, and fantabulous session by Vedanta 9th and English. My name is Pritesh. I'm your host, your dose, and a proud master teacher from Vedantu, welcoming you to a very, very interesting topic that is easy to most difficult topics of grade 10 biology. Now, the best part is that you've got only five chapters from biology in your 10th standard boards. What we have done is those five topics also we have dissected, uh, those five chapters we have dissected in the form of topics and then we have given you the most difficult, less difficult and easy topics from biology for grade 10. So let us explore, it's going to be very informative topic, very informative session for all of you. Do not miss it and please watch it till the end, right? Okay, so uh, just give me a minute. The screen needs to get cleared and yeah. Okay, so here is some information about I, me, myself. You can follow me on Instagram where I come live usually on Sundays, which I did last week. And you can follow me on Instagram at Kritesh underscore Vedantu. Apart from that, if you want to learn from me and all your amazing teachers of Vedantu, then you can just go on the link that is given in the description and use the coupon code PREPRO. This particular coupon code will help you to learn from all the amazing teachers, your favorite master teachers of Vedantu, English, Math, Science and SST for just Rs. 8,100 for the entire year. Yes, along with that guys, these are the 5 chapters of your grade 10 biology. Life processes where we learn about nutrition, respiration, excretion and uh, you know transpiration in plants, uh, transport, circulation, everything we learn in this particular chapter. Control and coordination is all about the brain, the nervous system and hormones. That is endocrine system. Reproduction may we learn about sexual or sexual reproduction. Hereditary evolution is all about genetics, DNA, genes, Mendel, hereditary evolution, progress, all of that, paleontology and all of that stuff. And our environment is very, very easy environment based chapter. Now, if I look at this uh, scale of difficulty, so green is easy, yellow is medium and, et, uh, and red is hard. So, if I see life processes, under life processes, I have got these four processes, nutrition, respiration, circulation and excretion. Now, all of them are a little difficult because they are the advanced versions of whatever you have learned in grade 6, 7, 8. So, whatever you learn in grade 6, 7, 8, these are two steps ahead of all those processes. So, it is a little hard, but then again, through different tips and tricks that I have given you in the class, I think this gets a little easy. If I talk about nutrition, we have got autotropic, heterotropic, under heterotropic, we have got uh, holozoic, parasitic and saprotropic. Then, uh, you know, humans do holozoic and even animals. Then we have got saprotrops, mushroom, yeast and in the parasitic, we have got mosquitoes. Then uh, under holozoic, we learn about the entire digestive system, buccal cavity, mouth, teeth, dentition, the salivary glands, esophagus, peristalsis, stomach, HCL, mucus, pepsin, small intestine, then, you know, bile, pancreas, liver, gallbladder, villi, absorption, assimilation, breakdown of salivary amylase, hence to break down carbohydrates to maltose, all of that in detail we learn in this topic. Respiration talks about, you know, alveoli, the exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide, the breakdown of glucose to release energy with the help of oxygen, without the help of oxygen and with limited oxygen. Circulation, we talk about heart, left, right, atrium, ventricle, aorta, systemic, uh, you know, systemic aorta, pulmonary artery, pulmonary veins, double circulation, spigomanometer, that is for blood pressure, stethoscope, all of that. We also have excretion where we learn about kidneys, nephrons, ureters, urinary bladder, dialysis, uh, you know, a function of the kidney, location of the kidney, urine formation, all of that we learn in excretion. So it's a little hard, but again and again, if you read your NCRT, you will know it just like I know it at the tip of your tongue. The next topic that we deal with is how do organisms reproduce, where we learn about asexual reproduction in unicellular organisms which happens by binary fission, multiple fission, fragmentation, uh, you know, all of that processes, which is a little hard. Asexual reproduction in multicellular organisms, which is by budding, 
so you know budding in hydra that is uh, uh, in multicellular organisms vegetative propagation where we have got leaf stem root so that is a bit easy sexual reproduction in animals the uh, theoretical part uh, can be a little difficult when it comes to the terms but then if you understand the process it's quite easy so understand the path understand the process gametogenesis and then it goes as easy and as it can be sex determination is also a part of this sexual reproduction in plants where we have double fertilization now this i feel is actually a little difficult because uh, you know we have to uh, we have to like try to visualize that how does double fertilization happen the pollen tube the main nuclei uh, you know the uh, uh, synergids and the polar nuclei all of that that it's a little difficult but then now you know that from this entire chapter where you need to focus the most then we come to control and coordination neuron and structure it's quite easy human nervous system the names are difficult you know mid brain fore brain hind brain corpus callosum then cerebrum cerebellum uh, medulla oblongata pons then you have got uh, the brain stem that is medulla oblongata the thalamus hypothalamus spinal cord this becomes a little difficult when it comes to the terms diencephalon mesencephalon and all that reflex action is easy i would say reflex action is quite easy you just understand that receptor sensory neuron interneuron motor neuron effector coordination in plants uh, reflex action we also have to learn a little bit about synapse and the chemical and the electrical impulse so that can get a little technical that particular part of chemical and electrical impulse coordination in plants also you have you have, you have got geotropism thermotropism phototropism and all that stuff so that can be a little technical again so if you see this particular entire chapter from human nervous system only the names are difficult the, this part half of it is difficult the synapse part and coordination in plants can get a little tricky but again the only trick the only trick to master all of them is there are two tricks actually one is you watch my sessions second is that you keep on reading the ncrt again and again and again and again and again and again right so you should know ncrt like the back of your hand then heredity and evolution so under heredity and evolution i think this has got repeated over here so heredity and evolution may okay so forget this ye thoda sa repeat ho gaya hai control and coordin uh, co coordination plans and hormonal coordination is also part of control and coordination under heredity and evolution we have got the mendel mendel's laws here the definitions are very important what is a gene what is uh, what is phenotype what is genotype the uh, mendel's laws of inheritance holds a lot of value over here then you have also got the genotype ratio phenotype ratio mono hybrid cross di hybrid cross you also have got evolution uh, then uh, darwinism right uh, laws uh, the darwin's law survival of the fittest then you have got uh, uh, mutation genetic drift gene pool all of all those technical terms so this is a little technical chapter you also have to understand what is evolution what is the difference between evolution and progress so you know paleontology the humans how they started with uh, you know their life in africa and how the humans migrated the modern man the neanderthal man the australopithecus all of that is a little uh, you know the terms are a little too much but again when you learn with me i will try to make it as simple as possible theek hai so that is heredity and evolution and then we come to our environment now this ecosystem food chain and food web is actually medium i won't keep it as hard but human activities and environment is quite easy so that is about your five chapters so out of all the five chapters i would say that you give maximum time in learning your uh, life process it's easy easy to master control and coordination reproduction okay these three you do first last uh, then next you do heredity and evolution and last you keep for our environment because heredity and evolution is completely imaginary right you are you can't just go and see the progeny or you can't just go and do the you know the different uh, genetic experiments so it is all visual it is all virtual rather so you keep first priorities first these three chapters next priority is heredity and evolution and the last you do our environment because that is quite easy to score theek hai so that is about your different topics and how do you go with them Uh, for internal exam sustainable management of natural resources is only for your internals now guys if you want to learn uh, the ntsc now ntsc is a very very uh, you know very nice and a very exceptional exam which if you guys can crack it will definitely make you famous in the entire country 
it's not only about famous it opens a lot of avenues for you to uh, you know move ahead in your academics like getting admission in good colleges you will have a special uh, reservation over there even for government jobs you will have a special reservation if you crack your ntsc so you can uh, enroll for the ntsc classes which is one of the biggest uh, competitions in india where you get uh, exclusive seats reserved in, in uh, for colleges you get a scholarship throughout your academic year till you complete your graduation you also get uh, jobs you are also get a special reservation for the jobs so in vedantu's ntsc crash course you get 10 sessions of maths 6 sessions of social studies 10 of math that is mental ability and 4 of science now you have the best teachers in the country to help you learn ntsc that is renu ma'am rabjot sir and sandeep sir and guys uh, the classes have already started from the 13th of June. So you still have time. You still have got time. It's not like everything is lost. You can still enroll and still continue to learn. Right? So well, do not forget to use my coupon code PREPRO for a discount. Right? With that guys, we come to the end. So these were your most important topics from difficult to hard for your grade 10 biology. Study well. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to give this video a big fat thumbs up. Share it with your grade 10 friends. And also guys, subscribe to Vedanta 9th and English. It's absolutely free of course. I'll be seeing you again. Till then, take care. Lots of love. Bye-bye. Thank you.